it's me. So I just wanted to open up this video by saying that you are now watching the process of me starting my small business from start to launch. I wanted to video this and log it because it's a big moment in my life. I've never done anything like this before and I would love to be able to look on it later in my life and see all the things that I did and you know how I accomplished it. I'm very excited. I'm also nervous. I'm also anxious. Um, I've been working on this for like two months now so I'm excited for other people to finally be able to see all the work that it took. Today is November 3rd and I officially started this project in September. Oh my goodness, that's crazy to think about. If you wanna see how I did it and how I launched my own small business through Etsy, just keep watching. Nope, that's not the right intro. If you don't know me, I'm G. I'm glad you're here to learn more about me. All right, everybody, so I have some exciting news. I am going to tie-dye a mask. I ordered this mask off of Amazon, it just came. This mask seems great, I like the measurements. It has like a pocket for a filter if you wanna put one in there. And then this is what it looks like. I really like it, I feel like the measurements are great. It looked small at first, but once I put it on, it fit snug and it didn't move, which is kind of what I want. I also got three dyes to go with it that I will show you guys. I want to tie dye these, but I also don't want these colors to run into each other and like make a gross color. So we'll see, I think I'm gonna make one color first and then we'll go from there. The first color that I got is this fun orange color. Then I got this fun light blue color. I hope you guys can see that. So there's that light blue color and then I got a dark blue color. This one's called Sapphire Blue. And then this one is reminds me of my friend Abby. It's aquamarine, but I'm gonna call it Abby Blue from here on out. I'm gonna tie dye those and I'm excited to bring you guys along the journey. I'm not filming this on my big camera so the quality's different, so sorry. But I dyed some of my masks yesterday and I wanted to see how they turned out. I left them over there. I left them overnight sitting, so. Let's see what happened. Here we go, I'm so excited. Also, that looks way more vibrant on the camera. This is what the pink looks like. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Okay, the pink looks like that. This is the orange. Oh my God, I'm so excited. This is what the orange looks like. I keep thinking it like is bleeding onto my hands, but it's fine, I got it on there yesterday. And this guy is the blue. I'm so excited. Okay, we're gonna rinse them out and see how it goes. Okay, this is what they look like. Um, I think they turned out really well, but I the only thing that I don't like is that the straps on the blue and like the pink and the orange, they don't take to this color as well. And I don't really know why, that kind of bothers me, but there's other masks to test. So I'm really excited about these. I'm gonna toss them in the dryer and kind of see what color they come out to be, but I really like them so far. The masks are now out of the dryer. Here's how the pink one turned out. It's a lot more muted than it was when I washed it. So here's the pink one. It's really cute, we love it. I love the color, I like the turnout a lot. Um, there's a little bit of orange in this one because I was, you know, had some trouble dying yesterday, but there's a little orange in that. This is Abby Blue. I had a roommate in college college named Abby and she loved this shade of blue. It's her favorite. So I call it, we called it Abby Blue. This is what it looks like. Super cute, we love it. I like the way it turned out. And then here's the orange one. Oh, I love the way the orange one turned out. It might be my favorite of the three. I don't know why, but it just looks so good. So good, I'm so excited. Okay, so 
just goes on and there you go. The orange one looks so good too. Uh, these make me so happy. I dyed a couple more masks. I'll show you guys those when they're dry. I'm gonna leave them I think for a couple hours and then wash them and dry them. And I know that the longer you leave them, the better the color will come out. But I just like can't wait. I just like wanna know now. I wanna know now, ugh. But I know that if I wash them right now, the color will come out. So I guess it's just a waiting game. I'm just really excited with how these guys turned out. Yee! So I finished tie dyeing and all of my masks are dry for the time being. So I wanna show them to you guys. So I did one that was green tie dye, like the crumble method, crumple, crumble, whatever it is. I like this one. I think this is my favorite. So it goes on your face like that, okay? And then I did a blue and yellow tie dye that looks like this. You can see that. It's so pretty and I love the way the colors, oh, sorry, my nail. I love the way the colors bled into each other and kind of created a little bit of green. They're beautiful, I love. That's that one. I also did a yellow tie dye. It accidentally got a little bit of orange in it, but I think it looks beautiful. And here's the color. It looks so pretty. And then obviously it just goes on like this. Beautiful. I just want to say really quickly that I'm very proud of these masks and I'm very proud of what I've done so far. And I can't wait to do more and I can't wait for everybody to be able to buy them. Hi. Okay, I haven't vlogged about the masks in a minute, so I just figured I'd give you guys the update on what's going on right now. I have all of the masks laid out in front of me right now that I have that are the color options. I have so many others. Hold on. These are all the options that I have right now, and I'm trying to come up with color names. That's going to be the hardest because I'm going to want them to be sentimental, but I'm also going to want them to be trendy. That's my pitfall. That is my pitfall in life. I'm trying to come up with them. So far, the only one that I know for sure is that this green is going to be my signature green, and this color is going to be called avocado because by now I'm sure you know the Etsy shop is called neutral avocado. I'm really excited about this. I've been putting a lot of detail and work into these, so I'm very excited to share them. I also came up with this fun new tie-dye. I don't know if I showed you this. It's like a very neutral tie-dye. My friends would probably say that this is me in a, in a mask. Just, that's me. Neutral, basic, not anything too flashy, which is funny because my room is blue. But I'm very excited. I guess I'll just kind of like sit here let you guys watch me while I name these. I just photographed all my masks outside. I should have recorded that, but I didn't think about it. I'm currently trying to come up with the Etsy shop and I will be uploading all the pictures onto Etsy as soon as I finish editing them because I wanna make sure the colors look the best that they can and the lighting is good. I'm really excited. I can't believe this is actually like happening and I'm doing it, but shop my masks when they go live. I'm gonna upload this video. I think this is gonna be another two video week because I want to get this up this week. It is November 3rd today, presidential election. I don't want this, the shop to go live today because all the attention needs to be on voting today. I'm very excited. I'll update you guys when I start uploading pictures and stuff. Vlog. Vlog. <laughs> My Etsy shop is officially live. I can't believe this. I've been working on this for two months. I've been developing new color formulas. I've been trying out a bunch of different masks, like the materials. 
honestly, I do it because it's fun and I want to leave an impact in my community. So I'm very excited to launch my Etsy shop called Neutral Avocado Shop. I'm just so excited because I worked really hard on it and I hope that you guys enjoy it and enjoy all the product that I made and all the masks. If you want to support my small business, I will link below my Etsy shop and honestly if there's any colors that you guys want to see or any sort of tie-dye variation that you want to see, comment in the, on this video. Comment down below and tell me what different variations of tie-dye you want to see, what colors you want to see, um, if there's a certain type of design you want to see or what, just let me know and I will do my best to work on it and try to launch it for you guys. I just launched my fall colors and I'm really excited about it. I'm also going to be doing, you know, more for more colors for the fall and then I will also be doing Christmas colors or I will do a holiday bundles also for all the different types of holidays. If you want to support my Etsy shop, the link is below. Thanks so much for watching you guys. I've been filming this process for a while now and I never said anything. Just because I wanted to make sure that I had the whole process logged and then put it out the day I launched. Go buy my mask!